1976, Peter Frampton, formerly guitarist with The Herd and Humble Pie, released the best-selling live album ever, Frampton Comes Alive, a musical event which those of us who lived through it will never forget. Almost 20 years later to the day, Frampton Comes Alive 2 was recorded, like the first one, at the Fillmore in San Francisco, and it hits the, short, the stores shortly. Before we meet Peter Frampton, let's have a quick look at the man in action. Well, Peter, welcome to Take It to the Bridge. Thanks very much for coming in. Nice to be here. Now, why did you decide to do it again? Um, well, it's just basically something that I, I feel I do best. My best work is done live. I, I find that the extra added adrenaline always brings, brings something else a little extra out live. I don't like doing things twice. I, <laughs> I don't like take two, you know. So in the studio, there's, there's never that the same excitement for me um, especially with today's technology, you always know that you go, how's that? You know, they go, well, I'll do it again. You know, but on, I'm, I'm completely in control uh, uh, on the stage, and um, I just felt that it's not like I'm recreating it. Um, it's just that I had no idea to, to call it, you know, Frampton Comes Alive 2. That's sort of tongue-in-cheek, really. But um, it was basically more live, you know, it's... If I do, if that's what I do best, then... And this is new material, a lot of it, presumably? Um, there's five uh, new, completely new things to the act, yes. One, uh, four, four new songs that I've written and one cover song by Tim Hardin. But the, the, other, the other stuff is basically um, snippets from songs from albums after live yeah. one. Now, you've been a difficult character to keep track of from this side of the Atlantic for the last 20 years. I mean, you cropped up, I think, I, last time I saw you was on David Bowie's Glass Spider tour. What have you been doing? Uh, well, yeah, I did. I've been uh, putting out records and touring. Um, you know, I haven't... Uh, there, was, there was a short time in the... Well, a couple of years in the 80s where I just took off some time and grew a family, you know. But no. apart from that... Um, uh, David asked me to do uh, the Never Let Me Down record um, while I was on tour. He caught up with me, and um, so I did that, went to Switzerland and recorded that, and he asked me to do the tour. Because you and he go back a long way, don't you? You, you knew each other as teenagers, I believe. Um, yes, we, we went to school together. He was, uh, he was uh, my father actually was his art teacher. Oh, really? So, uh, yeah, we used to bring guitars to school, and my dad would leave the art block open at lunchtime we go and jam but you know sort of buddy holly numbers and yeah. eddie cochran numbers and things great now the other thing I, know, I do know you've been doing recently which was much sadder was you were actually working again with steve marriott your old partner in humble pie around the time of his of his very sad death in 1991 i think yeah we um i just decided to uh, give him a call and um uh, see if he wanted to get together and write some songs and see where it went and it, it, it was great we did get together and um, uh, the first day we got back together we wrote two songs together and we're completely we were always very very different as as people but musically um, it was it was a very it was a very fiery relationship but yeah. out of that it was very creative um, and and the the pieces that we did as demos three of them have come out um, one on my last solo record uh, on relativity, Sony, and the uh, and uh, two are on a compilation. Um, so, the good thing is, obviously, obviously it was uh, devastating at the time. But yeah. the good thing is that the last things he did are available. Oh, the things good. we did together. Yeah. How does it come about? I know Humble Pie spent a lot of time in America. Is that why you virtually moved over there? Yeah, because that sort of um, we went over there uh, because we we seemed to. Uh, have a have a bigger audience over there for what we were doing at the time um, the management and agency was all over there so 
it, we, we just could keep working and working o over there and really built a following. Um, and when I left, it was just prior to re the release of uh, their big live album, which right. I was part of. Um, uh, you know, it was just obvious that that was a place for me to start anyway. Yeah. Even though I then came back after leaving and then opened the English tour for Humble Pie yeah. <laughs> to show there was no, uh, you know, bad blood. Yeah. Well, it's great to uh, have you back with us, Peter. I look forward very much to this new album. Thanks very much for coming in. You're welcome. Frampton Comes Alive 2 will be released on October the 23rd. Now a revival of Pete, one of Peter's most endearing tunes, this is Big Mountain's version of Baby I Love Your Way. <laughs> 